Hey, Kevin here, top one to financial advisor, two-time author, one-time bestseller, and we are here to talk about the stock market. I want to discuss three companies that had done really well last year and whether or not this is a time to invest in them. Is this a discount or is this just something you should just let go? Uh, because they're down pretty significantly. They're companies we all know of and heard of, but Again, as always, you want to come back and reevaluate your opinions, reevaluate some of the holdings that you have. It's been a year since the pandemic really hit the stock market, and it's something that's still going on today. But what we know now in March 2021 is not what we knew back in March 2020. So the world has definitely changed within the last 12 months. So let's go ahead and discuss. But first, today we found out um, the Dow Jones was actually up 0.96%. That's good. It's the 30 largest companies in the U.S. But then you had the NASDAQ down 2.83%, which is significant. And then you had the S&P 500 down just a, a tad bit. So it was a little all over the place. But I want to discuss these three stocks. I will uh, share the screen here in a second. I mean, let me just go ahead and do that now. And let's I'll pull it down, and then we'll discuss what we think about these three companies. All right, so the first one is Peloton. Peloton, you know it, it's the, I'm not going to call it the bike company, but they're the company that soared during the pandemic because people still needed to stay fit, like myself. I don't have a Peloton now. Um, I wish I did. <laughs> um, so you have people that, that still needed to stay fit. People were standing inside. They just IPO'd, I want to say last year. Um, they're founded, as you see at the bottom, in 2012. And it was a great, it's still a great product from what I've been told. Um but it, it soared last year. Now, over the past month, just the past month, is down 31.66%. That is huge. Is this something that is more of a discount or is this something that's more of a concern? So I'll, I'll come back and do each of these, but I just want to show you what we're looking at and how bad things are. Now, again, and I said this on Twitter earlier today, it's all about context. So yes, past 30 days, it don't look good. However, over the past year, you can see here, over the past year, it's still up 340%. So if you got it last year, you are still sitting pretty. Just the last 30 days just hadn't looked all that great. So yes, it's down 30%, more than 30%, but it's still up 300 over the past 12 months. Now, the thing is, and we've said that we said this before, past performance does not guarantee future results. Anything that you saw in 2020, put an asterisk next to it because that was a pandemic year. Things were weird. Things were different. It was the perfect scenario for a company like Peloton to break out. That, that's a fact. And it did. But now that it's not going to break out this year, at least the pandemic isn't. We've got vaccines. We, people are getting vaccinated. People are going back outside. Is this still, is, can it repeat that? And I think that's that's going to be a no. I don't see the, any company doing 340% two years in a row. So what do we expect there? So we'll we'll put a pin in that one to the next one. Next one is Zoom. Zoom is down over the past, this is three months, over the past month, 25%. However, as always, we'll look at the last year. Over the last year, it's still up 196%. You can start to see back in October, though, it's been pretty consistently down since then. But over the past 30 days, not great. 25%. This is an eyebrow razor. Zoom, obviously, I mean, that was everything was on Zoom last year. Everything was on Zoom last year, unfortunately. Um, so we need to discuss, do we keep it? Do we let go of it? Is it something we want to look into? Yes or no. Even though their numbers, their financial numbers had actually been, been well. They started off when they went public. I think it was 2019. Yeah, 2019, they went public. And they were one of the few companies that were actually profitable. Their business model does work, but there are some things you want to be concerned about, and we'll get into those. And then the last one, the most popular one probably, and I think I attacked this one or attacked this, answered this question the other day. You got Tesla down 33, almost 34% over the past 30 days over the last year. For context, you're still up. 364%. You can start to see here around January or so, it really started to taper off. We'll see what happens. So let's get into it. I'll bring this down and stop sharing and discuss each of them. Um, so let, let's start with Peloton. Again, you never know where the market is going to go. We don't know how the virus is going to evolve or that everybody's going to get the vaccine as they should. We do know that 
things are trending in the right direction. In some places, numbers are dropping. Uh, vaccinations are going up. I got both of my shots. Hooray. Um, so I can finally go, out, go outside with a mask and still socially distance. But I, I feel more comfortable doing those things now. I, I might book a trip. You know, I might go home and see my parents and let them see the grandbaby. Um, so I do see travel being more of a spot that makes sense. I'm not entirely sure about Peloton as an investor. I don't think this is necessarily a discount. I think this is a real dip. I personally, I'm not touching Peloton still until I start to see things improve from a stock perspective. Because the other issue is not only did they really just take off during the pandemic, um, they IPO'd very recently. I don't know if it was last year. It might've been last year in 2020. If I'm not mistaken, I think they, y'all correct me in the comments. I think they IPO last year too. I don't even touch IPOs. So that's, that's the other thing. Like one, you're new to the stock market. We don't know how you're going to act, but also you took off or launched rather from a stock market perspective. Again, they've been around before then uh, during the pandemic, bro, that's risky. That is risky. It paid off last year. I don't know how it's supposed to pay off this year. It's a lot of, very, very similar to DoorDash, Uber Eats. Like you did well. You saw 500,000 increase in customers. You saw all these people coming in and ordering now. But how are you going to act when people are out there in the world again and they're not stuck in their house being forced to order? I think with Peloton, you had people at home not spending money at places they would normally spend. So you had extra cash on hand. You weren't traveling. You weren't... Uh, weren't paying for gas. Some people weren't even paying for car insurance because they were just sitting at home. Like, why pay for car insurance for a car I'm not driving? I'm definitely not buying gas, right? So I had this extra cash. I bought me a Peloton. It's a one-time purchase. I think there's, there's a month subscription for like the videos and stuff. But I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Once this thing is over, I am not entirely confident that we're going to see what we saw last year. That doesn't mean that the company is not going to be good. It doesn't mean that the company won't, you know, won't be on our watch list and won't be something that I would invest in two or three years from now. I don't know. Um, but right now, I this this seems like a more of a falling knife than not right now. The the way things are set up, the way the economy is set up is not great for Peloton. The more people stay home, the more it makes sense to get your Peloton. Um, the more people go out, the more people go to actual gyms with trainers and all these other things it may not make as much sense. So we'll see what they do. Um, I'll keep an eye on it, but that one's more of a falling knife. I would personally avoid it. Now, if you have it already, that's up That's up to you. If you had it last year, you're already up 300 some odd percent. What I might do, and I say might, because it depends on how you see it. If you see it as a long-term company, you, you just hold on to it. If you don't see it as a long-term company, you might want to put a stop limit on it. I don't know at what price you would do that at, because I don't know what price you get in, right? Um, so... I'm just looking at it now. So I would lock in some of my profit. It's getting close to $100 a share. Again, I don't know at what point you got into it. So I can't really tell you, like, I would get out at $80. Like, that depends. If I got it in at 85, I'm losing, right? Um, but I would put a stop loss on it just to protect a level of my profits. If I got in and I made 340% or whatever it was, I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm maybe I'm locking in at 300 or whatever percent you got in at. Um, so that's about time. Not super confident there. The next one, Zoom. <clears throat> Zoom is a bit different. Um, all these companies have risk and benefits. You can argue for both sides. And again, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Um, so for Zoom, for me, they're, they're solid financially. I am concerned about their competitors in the long term. You still got Microsoft Teams, which is a whole lot better in terms of what you can do with it versus what you can do with Zoom. Zoom, I mean, I record this on Zoom. Um, and I don't invest in any of these companies, by the way. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I do, I do have stock in Tesla. Um, but Zoom works. It's super simple, super easy to use. I just don't see it as the most sophisticated tool. But also, like, like I said, you got Microsoft Teams, you got Cisco's um, video conferencing tool, and then you got Google, which has a really good Google Meet system where I already use Google Calendar. I can set up a meeting like that, share my screen, do all the things I can do on Zoom on Google for free. Um, and I can have like 100 participants. I think Zoom limits you to like two, two or three before you have to start paying. Um, so that's that's something you want to consider. So they have more competition. Facebook brought out their like Facebook Rooms thing. I'm not sure if that's a huge competitor just yet. But again, these are all competitors that have popped up because of Zoom's success. The other part of this is, again, as places start to open up, as conferences come back into play over the next just this year in 2021, but over the next two years, 
how is Zoom going to transition? What other products are they going to offer if they offer any? Um, again, they're solid financially. They had a, an amazing year. It's a perfect year for them in 2020. Will it continue in 2021? That's going to be a very, very tough question. I'm really in the middle for me. Where I'm out on Peloton, I'm in the middle for Zoom. If I personally held Zoom, I would hold on to it. I would confidently hold on to it if I had Zoom. Obviously, you want to make that decision for yourself based on where you are and how your investment strategy works. Where, again, for Peloton, I'm like, mm, nah, probably not going to get, I'm, I'm definitely going to put a stop limit here. Zoom, based depending on when you got in, right? Because you could be up, you know, 600% on Zoom, depending on when you got it. Um, I would probably hold it on, hold on to it for a long term. I think they have more long term aspects and more long term plays than what it would be for um, for Peloton. <clears throat> and then lastly, we want to go for Tesla. Whew. Okay, so Tesla is what it is. Elon Musk is who he is, um, and this is actually not his fault. Why it's down, the percentage that it's down. I am the most confident in Tesla, not just because I do own it, because it is true. I'm more confident because we have the, the, the EV support. They don't represent that many cars out there. They're like 1% of the total car market. That ain't much. They are getting more competition. I think it was Ford that's rolling out there, uh, their electric stuff. You got Revion supposed to come out public this year. They got their stuff on the horizon. You got uh, Neo that's out there in China. So they got a lot more competition now than what they've ever had. The landscape is changing for them. However, we expect electric vehicles, battery makers, green energy, all that stuff we expect with the new administration, at least for the next two years, to be a place to grow. I think, if anything, Tesla is more of a discount, but they don't mean you should just jump into it. Um, but I think, you know, for me, I think that's more of a discount, a place where I would just continue DCA and continue buying. Um, and also, one other thing, we have seen them take these dips and survive before, especially last year. You don't really have that long history with Zoom, even though it's done well the last two years. You don't really have that history with Peloton because they ain't been around that long. I can go all the way back to 2010 to show me how, how well Tesla has recovered from these dips. This ain't the first time they've dipped. Well, it's the first time that anything has, has dipped this hard in six weeks. Um, but we've seen them take significant dips. We saw this last year. We've seen it the year before. We just falls off the map for a bit and then comes back soaring. They don't mean it will this time, but I have a little bit more confidence because I've seen it before with Tesla and they're in the electric vehicle space, which we know the government is trying to push. We know California especially is trying to get that out there and make this more of a thing. Tesla seems to be the, the biggest beneficiary of that. So we will see. So again, Peloton is a definite no for me. Zoom is, I would probably hold it. And then Tesla is, I probably just stay the course until something else happens. Now, just because I say that don't mean it's going to come up tomorrow. It don't mean it's going to come up next week. It could fall all year long for all I know. We will see. But for me, I'm probably going to con just continue DCA. I will reevaluate this in June. Unless y'all ask a question, we'll reevaluate it you know, right, in, right then. Um, but for me, I'm holding it until June. I'll come back and reevaluate in June. Maybe Tesla will get us act right. Maybe it won't. If it won't, it's gone. It's gone. Period. Um, but if it is, then we'll keep it and we'll reevaluate in December. Whew. All right. So that is it for me. Let me know what you think in the comments. Which of the three, Peloton, Zoom, Tesla, do you think this is a discount? Do you think it's just just let it fall and just, you know, let it do what it's going to do? I'm not going to get involved. Or do you hold them all? Are you just holding them? Are you investing? Let me know what you think in the comments. All right. That's it for me. I'll talk to you guys later.